welcome to another session of office 365 guys i am anjit rawat your online instructor and uh, today is a second session of our o365 training series and in this class i am going to define you about the user management right in first session we discussed about uh, how to sign up ourselves over our office 365 portal without using any credit or debit card and today i am going to define you about the user management which is really important because uh, without user we are unable to perform any task over our office 365 so let's start to understand about the concept and uh, uh, about the way to create the user and manage the user and uh, uh we'll discuss about the procedure as well so let's move our uh, self to theoretical part means try to understand about the concept and after that we'll move ourselves to the portal and discuss about the procedure fine guys so if you're new on my youtube channel if you're watching my video first time so you can subscribe my teach me cloud youtube channel because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you a 100% live practical without skipping any step so our agenda O365 user management, right? So, in case of user management, as we know that whenever we try to send a mail or receive a mail, you know that we must need to create a user and assign the license. So, each and every step I'm going to define you. But let's talk about the concept first. Over Office 365, we have a three, two different way to create our user. one you can set up your user account office 365 user account with the help of uh, admin center okay this is first step and second you can create your user with the help of azure ad azure ad is a basically a part or built in service of microsoft office 365 that give us option to configure and manage the entire activity related to the users means you are able to reset the password configure multi factor authentication creating multiple user at a time and it give you option to associate your own domain with uh, uh, office 365 tenant so we'll try to understand each and everything we'll be talk about the core features related to the users so we'll try to understand about the create user right and discuss about uh, multi factor authentication how we can manage the multi factor authentication we'll try to understand about the concept of sspr we'll discuss about custom domain management which is really important custom domain management are adding and we'll try to understand about bulk user operation right bulk user operation in the sense like you are planning to create a multiple user on single click or you are planning to download the entire information about the existing user for on premises so we'll discuss about the bulk users operation so you can see that these all are the content or these all are the options or services which is available in our user management and to be a expert in office 365 this is first step that we need to know about the if you want to be expert in case of office 365 so this is a uh, first step to uh, manage the other services of o365 right so uh, we will discuss about these uh, activity by using our admin center and by using our azure ad portal as well right so let's move ourselves to the portal and try to understand about the procedure and step this is our office 365 portal means as we discussed if if you don't have access of uh, office 365 you need to sign up yourself and proceed for the free trial license and you are able to use this free trial license up to 30 days and 30 days is enough to uh, uh understand about the services so now we are on page of office 365 portal what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on admin this is it will redirect you on page of admin center this is office 365 admin center that give us option to manage the users right so a number of options are available here like as a add user edit user reset the password user it's a basically a type of dashboard where we can manage the services but if you want to see more option just need to click on users active user contacts guest user account and about the delete user so what i'm going to do just need to click on active users and whenever we click on the active user this is the panel where we can create our users like as a add user you user templates multi user Uh, it's also considered as a bulk user operation 
add multi users multi factor authentication delete the user and we'll discuss about the sspr services with the help of azure ad portal what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on add user and uh, just only for the testing purpose i'm going to create one user with name of class and uh, display name is also class uh, we don't have any custom domain so that's why i'm going to proceed with on microsoft.com username again class uh, to uh, three different options are available like as a automatic create a password automatically create a password are uh, required uh, Required this user to change password on first login, right? So um, What I'm going to do. I'm just going to proceed with standard of Microsoft. I don't want to generate password automatic I'm going to provide my own password, right? You must need to reset the password whenever you try to log in with the Client, whenever client or uh, customer want to log in this particular user account, on first login you need to share the temporary password, and customer self can reset our one password. No need to do anything. Click next, and this is the free trial license. I'm not going to assign the license right now. We will discuss about the procedure to assign license of our existing user. So I'm not going to assign it, right? Proceed. We'll, we'll assign the license later. Click next, next, and finish. So, think about, uh, try to understand about the if you create your user account without the uh, license, so what exactly happened? And whenever you assign the license to our uh, uh, Office 365 user, you are able to access the services. We'll try to understand about the both way if you don't have uh, any license over your user account, and whenever you assign the license over your user account, what exactly difference between both. Close it. We successfully created one user with name of class and it's unlicensed. So not an issue. I'm just going to open the properties of our user because we are using the uh, default domain name. So I'm going to copy this username. Class at the rate is me cloud uh, 552 at dot on microsoft.com. Just need to open another wizard. Uh, incognito wizard. Again office.com and username and password you know that you are using a temporary password so you must need to change on first login uh, you need to provide temporary password next you must need to reset as we discussed and sign in so we haven't assigned any license for this particular user. Uh, so you are unable to access any product of Office 365. After assigning the license, you are able to manage each and everything. So see, we are unable to find anything. We are unable to find anything. No any applications are available because we don't have a license, right? And whenever you assign the license to our user, uh, maybe it will take five to 10 minutes. And after that, you are able to access each and every product. Cool. So how we can uh, assign the license? It's really simple option. You need to open the user's property. And we need to click on license and application, which is available in the properties. Click here. It will redirect you on page of license. Just need to select number of products, which is available. Office 365 F3 license available. Select and turn on it how many application you want to share with this particular user you can just check mark here so i'm going to assign each and everything just need to click save 24 licenses are available because in case of free trial you will get up to 25 licenses we successfully assigned the license to our class user let me refresh the page and uh, see class license name is 365 f3 uh, it may be take time or uh, maybe uh, we are able to see the product now so we need to wait at least five minutes because here we are unable to find anything see we are able to get the entire information the product detail that you uh, assign for a uh, big license so we, you can access the Outlook, Teams, Word, Excel, entire product that you assign for uh, you know, one time of uh, uh, license uh, assigning. 
so this is the basic understanding of office 365 if you knew because i started from very basic it's really important for every uh, uh means beginner who just want to establish our career with office 365 so definitely we'll try to make a, a series uh, that you can understand properly from scratch so i hope you all of you understand about the step that i used to uh, configure user account in next session we'll discuss about uh, user management with of uh, office 365 ad fine guys so take care thank you bye bye if you have any question please drop a comment and do subscribe your teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys bye bye